Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Wanted to show you one of the coaches that we just got in today. This is a 2024 28Z. A lot of people say, what does the Z stand for? Zowie, does this coach have a lot on it? So let's just take a minute and kind of walk around and see what we got here, okay? First of all, it's on the E450 chassis with the Ford 7.3 liter V8 with 325 horsepower and 450 foot-pounds of torque. There'll be plenty of power to get you anywhere you want to go see in this wonderful country of ours. So when you start in the front, you got a molded fiberglass front cap, gives you the four winds lettering right there. You have your running lights up on the top there for you. And then we come on around. Again, you can see it's on the E450 chassis. You have your side mirrors, which are extended out, and you also have the side mounted cameras here. So that way, when you turn your turn signal on, it'll come down and show you what's down each side of the coach. So that way you don't have a blind spot. As you can see, you have your window up there in the bunk. This is your slide area. You also notice that it has the awning there. So what that'll happen is when that slide comes out, the awning will come out with it. So that way it'll protect it from any debris or anything getting on the top of your slide. So here you have your first compartment right here. So in here, you can see you have some storage, which is all lined in the ABS for you. So that way it's going to be easy for you to clean out, get any debris or whatever it may be out of there. Okay. And we come on around here. And here we have our 4,000 watt generator. Now this generator here, this will run right off of your fuel line for the coach itself, which you have 55 gallons of fuel. You get below about a quarter of a tank, then it won't allow you to run this. So that way you don't run yourself out of fuel. That generator will power everything on the inside of the coach for you. Your air conditioner, your hot water heater, <coughs> everything in the coach, the lights, anything that you may be. Then this compartment right here is where you have your dump station. Okay, so you have your tanks. You also notice right here, you do have tank heaters on this for you. Now what you have on this, you have 40 gallons of fresh, 26 gallons of gray, and 40 gallons of black. So that we have plenty of water to take with you everywhere. Here you have your hot water heater, which is a tankless hot water heater. So you don't ever have to worry about running yourself out of hot water. That'll continually heat your hot water for you. So that way nobody has to take a cold shower. Okay, <clears throat> here we have the back of the furnace. Here you have your 30 amp cord, which you can see is all sealed. It's marine sealed, so you don't have to worry about any of the critters crawling in there and getting inside the coach. Here's where you have your connection for your cable. So if the park offers you cable, you can just hook it up right there. Here's where you have your 40 pounds of LP. That's gonna help you run your, <coughs> excuse me, your hot water heater, uh, run your furnace right there for you, your cooktop. Here's where you fill up for your 55 gallons of fuel. Here's where you have your gravity fill for your fresh water tanks. That way you can just get your water hose, fill up the fresh water there, and then you have 40 gallons. That way if you wanna go out dry camping, you can do it right there. Here's your city water connection. Okay, if you're running off of your fresh water tank from the gravity fill, you just have to turn your water pump on. When you have your city water connection, you don't have to do that. Here's where you have your black water flush. So we just hook your hose up here, open up that black tank, and then that's gonna go in there and clean out the black tank for you so that way you don't get any false readings. Back here is where you have some exterior storage. On this little coach here, you have 104.2 cubic feet of exterior storage, okay? Here you also have a little table for you because this one here we brought in with the outside kitchen, okay? It's all lined in the ABS for you. So that way if you're tailgating, whatever it may be, you could just put ice in there and just use it as a cooler. Back in the back, you have your bumper, which you can take this cap off, put your black water hose in there. Back here, you have some more access to your outside storage, okay? You also notice you have your ladder right here, so you can take your ladder, go up on the roof, do your yearly maintenance, check it all out. Mr. Cameraman, if you wanna go up there and show them the roof, you got the TPO roof on the top. You also notice that it is has the radius tops, so that way you're not have to worry about a flat rooftop and the water's gonna run off for you, okay? Now we've seen it all there, okay? We do have our assistant gunner here with us today just helping us out to show everything, which majority of you campers out there have your little pups that you take with you. They're great to go camping with you. Yeah, okay, so you also notice back here on the back, you have your backup camera, so that way when you put it in reverse, you can come back here and you can see what's going on, makes it a lot easier to park for you. You also have your 8,000 pound hitch on the back with your seven-way plug right there. 
so that way you can tow your vehicle if you want to tow a trailer whatever it may be and then your backup camera as well too if you look back there and you're down the road and you notice your car's not there or your trailer's not there you might want to turn around and kind of retrace your steps and see if you can find the vehicle because you'll need that at some point okay then we come around here to the patio side you also notice you have your awning right here a nice feature on the 28z that we brought this in is this is your outside kitchen so you have your griddle and your cooktops so that way if you want to catch your fish that after you caught your fish for the day you want to cook them up do it right here some hamburgers some hot dogs whatever it may be then when you're done with it you also have the cooler right here which is a 12 volt cooler for you which you can to take take right off of the rack for you okay you do have your light switch right here which will turn on your inter exterior lights you got to turn them on there, but you can have a little switch right here for you. Okay. Then also right here. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the switch for that. This is the switch for this light right here. Okay. So that way when you're out cooking at night. Okay. That way you have some light. You can see exactly what it is that you're doing. Okay. Now down here is where you have your LP gas quick connect. So that way you can cook the griddle up or hook the griddle up right here. We'll run off your 40 pounds of LP that's right on board for you. Okay, then right here, we have some more storage. Okay, then right here, so after you catch the fish, you got to clean them, right? Yes. So here you have your outside shower, which you can hook up with the sprayer, help clean yourself off, clean the fish. Or if you're out hiking and taking some adventures in this great country of ours, clean yourself off before you go inside the coach. Again, you have your power patio awning. Okay, which does have an adjustment for you so that way when you leave or whatever it may be you can take and you can adjust the pitch on this coach for you too as well so that way you can have it and it'll run off for you okay and then right here you have some plugins right here so if you want to charge your phone whatever it may be you can do it right there or if you want to bring an outside tv set it out here watch the tv you can do that as well okay then here we have some more storage it's all lined in the abs Again, like I said, the total exterior storage on this is 104.2 cubic foot. So that's pretty impressive for a 28-foot coach. Part of the Zowie, as we like to say. Okay, your sidewalls are all fiberglass laminated, so that way you don't have to worry about it. The nice thing that Thor does for you, this is something that's kind of important. 12-year structural warranty and a six-year lamination warranty. One of the absolute best in the industry. Peace of mind is what we like to call it for you. Okay, then we come on around here. Then here you have again your, your side mounted camera. So whichever way you're turning, that'll come down and show you down the side of the coach. Okay, so Mr. Cameraman, would you like to look inside? Yes, he shook his head. So here we open up our door. We have our screen door right here, which you do have the guard. So that way, if you want to just leave your screen open, let some fresh air in, keep the bugs from coming in and out. You have that right there and then you can just slide this over for you. Right here in this compartment, this is where you have your house battery. So it's very easily accessible. Then right here, we have our switch for the power patio awning. And then for the lights right here, for the step light right there, for your cargo lights. These are for your interior lights. Okay, then this right here is to turn your battery power off and on. So when you're not using it, just turn that to um, off and that way you won't have to worry about your batteries. One thing I forgot to point out in the back is you do have two leveling jacks or stabilizer jacks. Okay, so right here, you can see under there, Mr. Cameraman, you have one on either side of the coach. So that way when you get to your destination, put down those jacks and that'll help stabilize the coach for you. Okay, so that way you're not rocking and rolling right there. And then here we have our controls to control them right here for both the passenger side as well as the driver's side. Then right here, you have your, your solar prepped right here for you. So that way you have your solar charger right there. You can see it'll tell you the volts. That way if you're out dry camping, you're just out in the desert, you're out at the racetrack, whatever it is, run your lights and everything just right off of the solar. You can't run your air conditioner, but you can run your lights right off of the solar. Okay. So again, we had our solar charger right there. Then here you also have your auto gen start. So what is the auto gen start for you? You can set that up. So if your voltage gets low, it'll kick on your generator and charge your batteries up for you. Okay. So we're going to come on inside. So we come on inside, as you can see, we've got the slide in itself. Okay. But look at all the access we have to everything. We can get to our couch, get to our dinette, we can get to our kitchen, our microwave, our cooktop. Here's where you have the command center right here. Okay. This is where you can start your generator right here. Just prime it and then start it up. This will tell you your levels of your LP, 
your battery, your fresh water, your black water, and your gray water. Again, 40 gallons of fresh, 40 gallons of black, and 26 gallons of gray. Remember I told you we saw on the, the, the tanks back there, you had that little tape on it. That's your heating tape. So you flip this on for your gray or your black if you're in a cold weather. And that way what it'll do is that there will keep the, the tanks from freezing up for you. Okay, so you just turn the heaters on. Where you turn your water pump on if we're running off of the um, fresh water tank and we're not hooked up to city water. This is where you control your air conditioner and your heater. So you can set the temperature there as to what you like. Here we can still get to our refrigerator with the slide in, and we can still get to our bedroom area with the slide in as well. Okay, so and you can also get to your bathroom. Okay, so even with the slide in, you can get to everything in this coach. So let's show you some of the magic of the slide. Okay, when you want to put the slide out, you just have to turn your house battery on, start the coach up allow for it to get the charge into it okay, okay then we come on around here you can see where it says slide extend and retract so what we want to do is we want to take the slide out so you just push this button and look at how much more room you get once that slide is out okay <laughs> so it gives you quite a bit of room we've got the slide out so again, we still have access to everything, but we just have a little bit more room. Okay, right here you have your couch, which does have the two seat belts on here for you. Your two cup holders right here. You do have the nightshades all the way throughout. And then these windows are the slider windows, which will just open up for you. And that way you can get a nice airflow all the way throughout the coach, okay? Here's where you have your bunk up top. We've got the bunk out of the way here, but then you just pull this down here. And then this here will come and then make your bed area for you. Okay, so you can sleep two more. And you also notice that up there, you then have some more cup holders for you. You do have a window right there, which will allow you to get some airflow. You also have your vent right here for you. You have your two air conditioner vents right here. You'll notice these little seat belts right here. What that's for is you have the safety net right here. So when you're up in the bunk, take that up. You got the kids up there. Just take the net up there, click it in there. And then that way nobody can fall out of the coach. Okay. So in our dinette, this dinette here will break down in order for you to make a bed. So you can sleep two more. You have two more seat belts as well for you. Here you have some more windows here. Another window right there. Here you also have your two cup holders. Right here is where you have your charging station. So as you're going down the road, you want to charge up your laptop, your uh, cell phone, any kind of electronic device, you can do it right there. Okay. This is your MSRP. The MSRP is 155305. We had one customer in one of our previous videos ask for the MSRP. So there it is. Okay. This right here, if you're coming in, you can just scan this right here and this will take you directly to the Four Winds uh, website and show you all of the features that are on there as well. Okay. Then down here, we have some drawers for some storage right there. Some more storage right here. Okay. And then this couch does break down in order to make a bed. So you can seat belt six in this coach. You can sleep two kids here, one adult, two kids here, one adult, two more people up in the bunk, and then two more in the back. Okay. So you've got two, four, six, eight. So you can sleep a total of eight if you like. You notice the cabinets are in the white, which gives you a nice, clean, sharp look. Look at how deep that storage is. So that way you can get whatever it is you want in there. Right there is where you have for you hook up your TV, uh, your cable. If you want to hook up another TV, you can do it right there. Okay. So we come on down. You also notice you have your air ducts all the way throughout. So when you're running your air conditioner, it'll come all the way throughout. Now this here also has the quick cool. So if you get to your destination and it's real hot out, you can take this, open this out, and then the air will just dump right out of here. And still, you got 80% will dump out here, 20% will still run through the ducts itself. Then you close that up, and then everything will go back through the ducts. Here's also your fire alarm right here. Here you have some more storage. There you have your TV, so it's very easy to be viewable from the dinette or from the couch. Come on around here, we have our kitchen area. You can see you got a nice laminate cooktop, lam laminate countertop right here. Farmer's sink with the high-rise faucet and the pull-out uh, sprayer right there. Place you can drain your dishes right here. Okay. Here's where you have your three-burner cooktop. 
So you can just turn them on right here. They automatically light. Then you have your oven right here. So if you want to do some pizzas, a pie, whatever it may be, you can do it right there. You have some more storage right here. Okay. And here you have some more storage. Place to put your trash can. Have some more storage right here. With two more drawers. I'll pull out for you. Okay. Then right here, what they give you for too as well. So you got four apps with one membership. Okay. Here's where you have the Camp Diem, the Road Trippers, RV Village, and To Go RV. Which you can just go right on here for the first year. Thor will take care of that. And then after that, you can go ahead and sign up for it on yourself. Hey, I, one thing I wanted to show you about this stove. Kind of just a nice little neat feature, which we just noticed. You'll notice right here, we have it on, all the lights here are blue. Okay. Now let's say, for example, we were going to turn it on. Look what it does. It turns red. So if you're wondering, is that burner still on? Maybe you have somebody who can't exactly see the colors. Okay, can't exactly see something. Whenever it's red, oh, this is just your automatic ignition right here. So this isn't going to change colors. Okay, that's just to light the burners there. Okay, so another nice thing there. Okay, if you've got it on, it's going to be red. When you have it off, it's going to be blue. Just another nice little safety feature. Here's where you have your refrigerator, which you do have your lock right here. So if you're going down the road, just put this lock in so you don't have to worry about the refrigerator flying open. Look how nice and deep that refrigerator is. And here you also have your freezer. Okay. So it's a nice size for you. Okay. So then we're right here. We got the bathroom area. Okay. Again, you have a nice laminate countertop right here. You got your bathroom sink. Got your medicine cabinet right here. You have the vent right here, which you can open up. You have the air vent, which comes right in here. And you also have the heat vent right there, okay? Porcelain stool, so that way it's very easy for you to clean. Nice little shower, plenty of height in there for you. Okay, you got seven feet of total height inside of the camper, inside of the uh, Class C itself. So we got even more height right here. So if you have someone tall there, you have your shower sprayer right here. This is a nice little feature for you too as well. Okay, the shower meister. What does a shower meister do for you? Okay, in the old days, you'd have to turn the shower on, wait for the water to get to a certain temperature. So what is that doing? Well, that whole time, that water is going to be going down into your gray tank. The gray tank, which you have 26 gallons of, fills up from the shower, from the bathroom sink, or from the kitchen sink for you. Okay, so instead of filling it up, just waiting on the water to get warm, have the shower meister come on. You see this little blue part right here. Have that, shut it off, have it on, okay? Then that way it'll go back through the freshwater tank, back into your uh, tankless hot water heater. Once it gets to the desired temperature you want, this will change colors. You can go ahead and turn this on, step right in and take the shower. So that way you're not wasting any gray water for you, okay? So we come on back here, we're in the bedroom. We have a queen size bed, okay? Here you have some hanging space right here. This is your ladder right here for you, which you can use for the front bunk. Okay, here you have some more storage there. Some more storage there. Nice little headboard in the back. Again, you have your air ducts back here. You have another vent right in here. This window here is your emergency exit. Okay, so that way if something does happen, you can take this window, it'll pop out and you can climb right out of here, but you have the slider here and the slider window on that side. So that way you get some nice airflow. Okay. Here we have some more hanging space for some shirts. We have some more storage. I don't know if you can see that, Mr. Cameron, but that's very deep right there for you. Okay. So you've got a lot of room in there. He's going to open up the other side there. And you can see, look at that, all that storage you got. Okay. So you got plenty of room. Take whatever it is. You're out seeing this great country of ours. Get some souvenirs, some clothing, whatever it may be. Put it all in there. There's where you can hook up your TV for your bedroom. This is your power, your light switch for the bedroom itself. And there you have your fuse box right there. Okay. And then all of your breakers. I recommend you get some extra fuses, carry them around with you. So if something happens, you've got them right there. You don't have to make a run into town. Okay. So our 2024-28Z, four wins. What's the Z stand for again? Zowie. Okay, it's something great. So another thing I want to show you here in the front. Okay, we come up to the front. You're out shopping around, right? 
Hey, Mr. Salesman, I was just kind of curious, you know, uh, can you tell us how many miles it has on this? This particular coach here has 42 miles, okay, 42 miles. Why is that important to you? You're going to be the first person to drive these critical miles on this coach, the break-in period, okay? Not somebody who gets paid to get from the Michigan area to wherever your particular dealer is. Are they keeping it under the 60 for the break-in period? I don't know. Are they sleeping in it? I don't know. Are they smoking in it? Do they got pets in it? I don't know. There's all kinds of questions to ask. When you look at your salesman and you ask him those questions and he just stares at you, kind of like, um, I'll be back. It's because there's no answer. One of the only places in the country you can get a coach under 100 miles. Very critical for you, okay? So again, under 100 miles, right here at M60 RV in Jones, Michigan. We have a saying we like for you to come in as strangers and leave as friends. Jeffrey, do you happen to know a sale price on this, Mr. Cameraman? We're going to have to put it up in a graphic because we're not real sure. We just got it in, as you can tell, with only 41 miles. Okay, again, M60 RV, we're a family dealership. We're not very big. You might ask, how long is the sale on this 2024-28Z? That's a great question. Well, once we sell it, sale's over. Okay, we don't have a lot of them right now. We'll get more. I don't know if we can get it for our sale price that we'll put up in the graphic, but we can get another one. But this particular one, when it sells, the sale's over. Folks, if you're still here, hopefully we took you around, just showed you some of the nice features on this, the usability, how you would use it. We look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions or comments, please comment in the comment section or come visit us at m60rv.com. If you want to see a particular thing that we missed, we'd be more than happy to go back over and take over the coach for you. If you're still here, thanks for watching. Hey, Gunner. 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 Stare at the wall. Good boy.